rolling 22 shots on goal against and Bob stopped them all. So how happy were you with the total defensive effort tonight? Well, Bob's game was real important. I know he didn't get a lot of action, but early uh, in that game, so the first period, they had two or three real good looks at the net, and he was important for us. And I thought we got our feet under us, and we were pretty good after that first. So he had a... You look at the numbers against and say he had an easy night. He had an important night, and uh, and he hasn't had a, he, he hasn't had a lot of breaks around the net this year. So I'm happy for him because he earned it over time. He, and and we've uh, we've asked a lot of him, and he's delivered with his performance. So really pleased for him. And a lot of offense from that top line tonight put together. Reinhardt, Kachuk, and Barkov. Yeah, we, driving the engine. We needed it with with uh, Verhegi being out, and then especially when you lose two guys in game, you get down to ten forwards. Um, those guys were special. We, we needed that leadership. I thought Ekblad as well on the back end. Very, very strong game. Any, any update on Tierney or well, I'll overweight? be able to tell you tomorrow. I mean, they usually come back, let everything settle down, and, and the doc will, doc will see them. I, I, don't, I don't think anything catastrophic, but we've maybe longer than day to day on both. And when did you realize you were going to be without for Hagee and then Denisenko? What did you think of him for her? Coming yeah, up. you know what? I was I was I was fine with his game, and we moved him left and right and all over because of the injury. So he got a bunch of minutes, and he held water and and was fine. He got a little power play time earlier. We pulled him in the third just to run two defensemen at that score. Um, Verhage, we found he had an idea this morning that he, that he wasn't going to be good. We were hoping that he'd feel better by tonight. But I mean, we've got half the group is either out with it or has dealt with it or is dealing with it. So it's just kind of running its course and hopeful that he'd be back in for next game. But we, I've just had so many of these guys that you thought that, and it turned out to be quite a bit longer. So we are being careful because we don't want to turn into a Barkoff situation. How are you feeling? Fabulous. No, no. That was just from yelling. Okay. No, it was... Uh, it's, it's a quiet night when you got four lines and everybody knows who's going, but you get down to 10, you have to call everybody's name every single time, so you, you do a lot of barking. Uh, Brendan Montour, how important was that goal to, to break the ice here, especially with how good yeah. this game was? Because it wobbled at the first. They come out and they've got some guys that can stretch and they got some guys that can score. There's two or three really good scores there. I know their numbers maybe don't jump out. Patty Lenny can score from all over the ice. Um, Get get. I thought that was the start of it. Get you a good feeling. By the time we got to the second period, we were a pretty good team. It seemed like Barkov had a lot more confidence out there. I mean, since he was dealing with the illness, he only had one goal in those six games. Yeah. He got the goal, and then he also did that little between the legs thing. Is he looking a little bit better now? I think, I think just feeling better. I think he skated better tonight than he has in the previous three, and I think that is the, is the tell for him. Coming off the illness he had, breathing wasn't good. He didn't feel like he had a lot of power. So he's, the exciting thing for him is he's starting to get faster, and he'll start to skate better as, as everything clears up. So, I mean, he's such the key piece to us to be able to drive in a game. You know, and you look down the bench, and there's lots of room, which means we don't have a lot of guys there. Uh, his leadership tonight was critical. Okay.